key concept in InterSight device and user management is the InterSight account. My profile menu in the upper right, I can see the current account name that I'm viewing along with the account ID and my role. As you can see, I've got 146 servers under management within this account according to the server inventory. From my profile menu, I can switch my account or role and this provides a way to actually manage and view servers in other accounts. A server or any managed device in InterSight can be a member of exactly one account, but users can be members of different accounts and have different roles within those different accounts. So when I select that switch account or role menu item, I'm brought out to actually select a different account to look at, and I'll go look at my DevNet account, which is actually managing a different set of servers. So once this dashboard comes up, I see that I've got just a set of six servers under management in this account. For additional details on account and user management, I can view the help menu and learn how to do things like add an external identity provider. That can be any SAML 2.0 identity provider that can be integrated inside InterSight to provide that user management or user group management functionality and adding a group is also part of guided help and in this case I'm actually going to go learn how to add a user by following through the guided help. And this guided help will take me through which menu items to select. User management is done through the settings menu and selecting users and going in to add a user. The identity provider again can be cisco.com which is required for initial account creation, but subsequently third-party identity providers can be set up and those would be visible here. User email and then role can also be selected when adding a user and then that user becomes a member of this account. Multiple accounts can also be created by a user. Back on the main intersight.com page, you can select the option to create an account and actually create new accounts as required for splitting up the way that individual devices or servers under management need to be used. One last thing to show here is around authentication. So for external identity providers, single sign-on related setup is provided in this set of menus, and there are other video overviews on how to do that. For Cisco.com related authentication, Cisco IDs identification menu here can be set up to require two-step authentication if needed through cisco.com if that is a desired option. That will require the user to go set up two-step authentication in cisco.com, but that is an option that can be selected for additional security within InterSight.